agreement in the works between the United Nations and the Iraqi government to relocate thousands of Iranian exiles. They're part of a group that's given the United States valuable intelligence on Iran. That group is known as the MEK. Its members now at a refugee camp outside Baghdad near Iran's border. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton today praised the relocation plan, saying it would include a temporary stay at Camp Liberty, the former U.S. military base near Baghdad. An interesting destination because while the MEK has helped the U.S. in the past, it is also on the State Department's list of terrorist organizations. We're also hearing reports of a rocket attack on the camp hours after the agreement was announced. Jennifer Griffin is live for us in Washington. Jennifer, what can you tell us about this group? Well, Trace, this is a group of Iranian dissidents based in Iraq since the 1980s. Saddam Hussein gave them protection because they were fighting the mullahs in Iran. Ever since Saddam fell, the Iranians have been demanding the Iraqi government push them out, which has led to violence against the camp. This is a complicated group. Technically, they are still on the State Department terror list because they allegedly killed six American diplomats during the 1970s. But they have also helped the U.S. They were the ones who provided information about the secret Iranian enrichment facility in Natanz, a key intelligence breakthrough for the West. Iran is so threatened by them that when an agreement to resettle them was signed in recent days, a militia associated with Iran reportedly fired these Katusha rockets at their camp in Iraq trace. Yeah, and Jen, why does the U.S. have a responsibility to help them here? Well, essentially because after Saddam fell, the U.S. military got them to disarm in exchange for U.S. protection. This is the letter from Major General Jeffrey Miller, who was then the deputy commander of U.S. forces in Iraq, promising protection. The U.S. military wiped their hands of the situation in 2009. The United States general gave a guarantee in 2003 when we invaded Iraq and they surrendered their arms heavy arms and light arms that they could have used to defend themselves, we gave them a guarantee that they would be treated as protected persons. We asked a group of people to disarm themselves, uh, to uh, give, uh, give away, surrender their capability of defending themselves, uh, and in exchange for that, uh, we promised them, we made a commitment uh, that we would provide for their safety and security. Without U.S. help, these 3,400 Iranian exiles could be killed. A new deal calls for them to be moved to Camp Liberty near Baghdad, but it's not clear whether they will be safe there and where they will be able to go from there if they're not taken off the State Department's terror list. Trace? Jennifer Griffin, live in the nation's capital. Jennifer, thank you. A former South Korean first lady among the official mourners sent to offer condolences on the death of North Korea's leader. The South Korean delegation arrived in North Korea today.